I was given a mission. Uh, well, that, it's just what it is. Um, I had to breach the. Uh, it's wild. Because when I woke up, I just, I just knew what it was. I thought, wow, I can't believe I've done that. Um, I had to like, break in and uh, to the mainframe of the, of the Matrix uh, simulator and um, remove files. And uh, that's what I'd done. And I was like, um, basically like the James Bond, sort of like, you know, more so like the Tom Cruise um, Mission Impossible character. I was all decked out in like a uh, black boot, like cat burgling tackled clothes. And I went about uh, removing the files. I got no, I've got no uh, recall of how I got there. But I was, um, I was in this, this, it was a huge, huge, massive building. It's just how you like, I, how I've seen them on like, on the movies and, uh, and online, like data collection centers. And um, it was just massive. And uh, I was in, I was in there. And I was just uh, unjacking all these, um, or just cables, because I was at the back of it. Back and it was just like all these computer, not really, well, just like there was like these big black boxes, all electronic. And I went along a number of them up this corridor. And uh, before before I done that, I was like on this keypad, and it was like I was hitting the keys on it, and there were all symbols, looked like rune stones. It was eight time it uh, hit one of the sim, hit one of the key, hit one of the keys. Uh, on the screen, there'd be like a, uh, a symbol appear, the same matching the symbol on the pad, but it would all light up like a blue. And um, it was like, I, just, I don't know what the symbols were because I've never really looked at runestones. I've seen one or two, and it was all these different kind of symbols that I've never seen before. And I hit this keep, I got this keypad, I'd done that, and then I went along this corridor removing all like these, um, I, had to, I had to pull all the cables out, like out of jack leads and all that, and like some I had to unscrew them. Some I just pulled straight out, come straight out, and remove like these bigger. Uh, I say like these big rectangular, rectangular black things. These big like cases, computer cases, and inside the cases, it was like um, it looked, I'm not sure if it was glass, but it looked like glass because I had to remove them as well. I ended up getting about 15 of them from this big corridor, and then there was uh, I don't know. I can remember it being hectic. I can remember it being hectic, and I had to get out of there. And uh, as I made my way out. Um, there was a guy there. There was some dude. I know. There's an avatar. I put it like there was an avatar there from um, at the very end, like where I was escaping, where I had to go to get out. He was there waiting for me, but he didn't do anything. Um, he just basically just I just walked straight past him with these. I had all these big, massive black bags where I'd put like these data sheets in. But it was it was weird because they looked like they looked like glass, although they weren't glass, and that's what. Obviously, the information was on inside these big boxes, these big black, black rectangular electronic things. It was all stacked up. There was loads of them. And I'd done that. And at the end, before I made me escape, it was a... Um, it's like this uh, thing I was like... I started listening to it a bit ago. It's like... Um, it's what it's, uh, it's called Warhammer 40K. It's like he's... It's just like there's different laws to it and that. It's like it's a different universe. The immaterium, the materium, they've got like obviously a different uh, people, well, different life in there. And this, it's like this guy is like a particular, is like, um, they're like a, elf, a race of elf people, yeah, and they're called the Eldar. But this one who I see, and he's like, they call them, um, they're from the, the, ra the race of the Eldar, but they're from like, it's like, um, they're called a uh, solitaire. They're like, they're like, super amazing warriors they like move at the speed of sound and dance around just killing everything and they're like the SAS of the old R but more so and he was waiting where I was like trying to escape and I just I just like went straight past him and he was like what are you doing and I says I'm uh, I'm taking this I'm gone and he says you're not going nowhere and then I just put my hand up and he was just, like coming towards me and I just put my hand up like you know like Matrix does in the Neo to uh, the thingy character, what's his got? What's his name? Um, <laughs> Smith, and the first Matrix film, and he says no, like ah, and I just put my hand up to him like ah, and I says no, and he just froze, just froze on the spot, and uh, that was the end of the experience, and I like shot up out of bed. I couldn't believe it; it was unbelievable. And I had that one. That was a Friday night. No, sorry, Thursday night, and then on a Friday, 
Um, I think I know I've mentioned it before that I'm like not really interested in past lives and that. But I've had like I've had like a few um, a few of these well a few of these like since I read this this book a while ago um, by Irish mythology and about Irish history and uh, obviously having Irish parents and that and my dad used to always say to me when I was a kid oh yeah Irish and all that oh, we've got a wonderful history a special with special people and all this and all that so like I got a bit of an interest in it and then I, like last night. And I think a couple of nights, like it's giving me views, like uh, more modern views, like real side experiences where I am that I am like the original like Irish. And I know like it's crazy there because it's not about the body vehicle. It's not even about who you know. It's about you know awareness. But like yeah, it's very very interesting. It's like I was like you know basically. I think these guys was around pre you know pre. Um, Abraham and all that and I'm like it's crazy it's, it's wild because I was like I was in a battle last night and then like it was a uh, pretty gruesome um but like I was battling with this uh particular tribe of uh I think they called the Sasir yeah they are they called the Sasir and they're like the ancient the ancient Irish there was like come like after I think it was supposed to be like the first people after the flood in Ireland and um yeah it was showing me all that and I was going and like there was this battle and it was like throwing up all kinds of magic and stuff. It was, it was wild. Yeah. No, that, that, that's what woke me up this morning. But, uh, more so, um, the, the file removal. Yeah. I thought that was amazing, but yeah, yeah. That's what I wanted to share, Jeremy. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Dwayne. Uh, thank you. All new friends. I mean, it's like a, like a route to, I wanted to have a look back. I mean, I've had like probably three or four experiences and like, um, impressions, but like it's past, like, and it's like, I've done a bit of digging in that. And just like, you know, like, even a couple of weeks ago, and I'm like, I'm putting it together. I'm, I'm like, been trying to put it together. My eyes, like, I had a past life experience a couple of weeks ago where I was like a werewolf. Yeah. And then it's crazy. <laughs> and um, uh, I didn't really share it, but, but like, the more I think about it, it's, yeah, it is what it is. And, um, and like, I've looked, like, I looked into this. I actually heard into this thread, and it's uh, these people, uh, the two after do Dannon. And uh, yeah, and um, apparently they, they changed in. They actually uh, changed into the um, to werewolves for about four, three or four hundred years. And uh, you know, they just kind of like roamed the world and whatever. And then went back, uh, obviously, when Ireland was in trouble, went back and, you know, fought in like, fought for the natives and that. And it's just like, I don't know. It's all a bit on top for me, that is, at the minute. But, like, I know it's all personal self-daft stuff. But, yeah, the, definitely um, the uh, the file one, I thought it was amazing. and can't really get over it. And yeah, yeah, again, that's what I wanted to share. Thank you, Dwayne. Thank you, all new friends.